Now that Thanksgiving is behind us, the Pennsylvania Department of Health is concerned about the potential impact of holiday travel on the spread of COVID-19. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forback joins us now live in Wilkes-Barre with more. Caroline? Well, Candace, the state is seeing some of the highest daily numbers since the start of the pandemic. Now, after Thanksgiving, the health department says some Pennsylvanians may need to quarantine. Brussels sprouts of bacon, sweet potatoes. Due to a rise in COVID-19 cases and updated health department orders, most people kept their celebrations local and their guest lists short this Thanksgiving. Paul Ansbach of Pittston went to a small dinner at his brother's house nearby. Yeah, it was re really small, not even eight people. So that's a table, right? He says he'd normally have about 20 people at his Thanksgiving table. Wanda Blessing stayed home in Wilkesbury for Thanksgiving. Blessing works in a local nursing home where she says they're doing everything they can to protect residents from the virus. Every year they make them a special dinner and they do have what they call window visits for their families. Pennsylvania Secretary of Health Dr. Rachel Levine says those who had gatherings large or small with people outside their household over the holiday weekend should consider quarantining. If you have any symptoms, get tested and people should even consider getting getting tested a week after traveling. Our recommendation for the upcoming holidays is to please stay home. And I know that that is a tremendous sacrifice for Christmas, for Hanukkah, for Kwanzaa, and for New Year's. But our recommendation is to stay home within your household, uh, not to travel, um, so not to go on planes, not to go on trains and other means of travel, uh, and to stay home and to uh, you know communicate and be with your extended family and friends um, on remote platforms. As a health care worker, Blessing says she really hopes people listen. Please don't travel. Stay home. Stay in with your family. Do what's necessary. We have to stop the spread of this virus. Almost everyone we talked to this evening told us they chose not to travel for Thanksgiving this year. Some said it was because their employers were enforcing quarantine requirements. For now, reporting live here in Wilkesbury, Caroline Forback, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Caroline. And the Department of Health has no plans for further mitigations at this time.